I'm Pamela. I'm Kate. And I'm Avon. And today we're dishing with you from Chi Cha Lounge, located at 1624 U Street Northwest between 16th and 17th Streets. And our guest today is Rob Anderson, who's the president of Jabberoo. Now, hello, how are you? Hi. Jabberoo. I'm, Jabberoo. I'm doing great, thanks so, a lot. <laughs> My first, Mr. Mr. Jabberoo. <laughs> My Mr. first Jabberoo. question is, what is Jabberoo? <clears throat> well, Jabberoo is a uh, is a branded concept that we've created to inspire kids to learn about other cultures and learn about other languages. Uh, and we teach foreign languages to kids uh, starting very young, starting at 12 months um, and going up to 10 years old, mm -hmm. um, which is the best time for them to learn. Um, and we teach in our own learning centers that we have in area in um, locations throughout DC, and we also teach in schools. So I agree that it's extremely important for young kids to learn foreign languages because it's so much easier when you're young. Mm -hmm. But why? Why? We why agree. Why should they? Why, why should they does they everyone learn? else? I mean, why, right. we agree, but does well, everyone else agree? You know, kids growing up today are gonna are gonna be living in an increasingly global society. Right. You know, the boundaries are coming down. You know, people travel more than ever before. People are working in other countries more so than ever before. And so the way we look at it is that, that learning about other cultures and, and appreciating and understanding people from other cultures is going to be one of those skills that you have to have mm -hmm. you know, in order to be successful uh, later on in life. And one of the best ways to do that is to learn another language. Um, there's all kinds of cognitive benefits, you know, everything from it increases your test scores you know, right. later mm -hmm. on when you take that to it reduces stereotyping. You, know, you really do appreciate mm -hmm. people from other walks of life. Um, and Probably. like I said, it's just that, that is a valuable skill that people are going to have to have. Have less conflicts and war in the it, future. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. Each other you might be like the, the peace seek, the peace solver. Well, the world peace our solver. tagline is growing up global. You know? yeah. And right. so, so really is this the way we look at it is that the, the kids who are growing up today, I mean, these are the guys who are going to be on the front lines of diplomacy. Yes. You know, they're going to be the ones that we're going to be looking to to, to prosper in a, in a global economy. Mm -hmm. You know, or, or just traveling around and making friends. You know, there's, right. there's so many benefits to it. Well, I see DC as a perfect pod, a perfect place for this to, to take place because, I mean, this is such a, a, a interracial and, and, and uh, global mm -hmm. small town anyhow, even mm -hmm. though it's the capital of the U.S. But do you find that if you travel around, have you found that that's just as accepted in like Midwestern towns? It's a little bit smaller. Well, I think that I think that increasingly people are realizing, you know, that this is going to be a skill that kids are going to have to have. Right. Now, when we we started out with with Jabiru, it was really important for us to create a brand. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why we created the logo and made it sort of a catchy name. You know, yeah, for why kids. Jab yeah, yeah, yeah. Jabiru. Well, Brandy. the story with Jabiru <laughs> is. Um, if um, if you know about the poem Lewis Carroll poem Jabberwocky, yes, um, you know it's a it's a poem. <laughs> well, it's sort of made up words. You know, it doesn't really. I mean, you read it once and it doesn't really mean anything. You know, it's these nonsensical words, and it's sort of like learning a language. You know, you you look at the words and they don't really have any meaning at all. But you know, slowly, you know, the more you work with it, the then you know there's meaning behind that, and you can you can interpret it. And that's sort of how our classes are. You know, kids come in, and you know, these are three-year-olds, four-year-olds, and they come in, and they don't really understand or know the language. But our, our teachers, who are all excellent, they're all native speakers of their language, and they teach in what we call full immersion. You know, so they only speak in that language. Wow. Um, which, you know, for, for me that's or for someone good. who's older, it would be really difficult. But when you're sure. that young, you, know, you can catch on, and that's how you learn. That's the best way for them to learn, and they make those associations. And so. So slowly then, over time, you know, the more they come to the classes and the more they work with our teachers in immersion, you know, there is meaning for them behind those words. They make those associations. You know, book is libro. But it doesn't have to be translated for them. They learn it very naturally. It's a very organic, organic process that's for them. So do kids come in and actually learn more than one language at a time? or do well, they yeah, Most people learn, yeah. learn one second language. Okay. Um, but I can we imagine do, that'd be confusing we, to go into several yeah. classes. We have some kids who learn multiple languages, and you know, and that's I mean a, bit, a big benefit learning at such a young age right. is that you can you learn. can Their brains learn are like yeah. different languages. But what I like about that, too, what I like about that too, though, too, is when you're so young, like you said, you have the ability to learn so many languages. But I also realize that, for example, when I, I grew up in Canada, we had the same thing, full French immersion. So for half of the year, sorry, half of the day, school day, our teachers would come in and speak to us completely in French. Everything we everything we learned was in French, everything we did and eat and read. And everything also Canada is bilingual as well. So all our all the 
uh, the products and cereal boxes are all in English mm -hmm. and French on one side. That's why I learned a lot of words that, through that through that way, and I was able mm -hmm. to learn, you know, translation without actually having to sit down and conjugate right. verbs. And, and did you that. retain all of that? Yeah, I retained. I retained a lot of it, so I can I can read. I can still read and I can That's write. Cool. That's cool. Well, how do you mark retention? I mean, are there are the tests. I mean, how do they? I think kids learn best by playing, right? So I would right. imagine most of your um, content is. Well, that's games. our goal. You know, our goal certainly, of course, is to teach them the language, but it's also to teach it in a way where they're having fun, you know, doing it because it's the best way for them to learn, and of course, it keeps them coming back. You know, it doesn't do anybody good if the parent has to <laughs> drag them <laughs> to the class. So, you're so learning we, French. <laughs> so it's, it's equal parts learning the language and fun, and you know, so it's all kinds of things like art projects mm -hmm. and lots of role play. Do they sing at all? We <laughs> we do we some, heard a rumor there was singing we do and we some music. You know, kids learn a lot through music um, and competitive games. You know, kids like to compete, and we do have we have a Jabberoo song um, that we have created, which is it's the only part of the class really that is, is in English. You know, because we sort of kick off the class with a Jabberoo song that we created, um, which has a little kind of movement to it that the kids do where they greet each other in the class. Um, so it's it's fun. We created the song. Uh, you know. It's sort of a marketing thing. It's a little hypnotic, so, you know, so, so it was a little sly on our part because the, you know it's something that kind of sticks in the kids' mind. So they're you know they're singing it you know on the way to the grocery store. Well, or I've already learned a so word. So the parents don't forget us, and sometimes I think they they wish that we, they didn't sing that song. But, um, you know, well, I learned a word fun. already. I mean, you you told us the beginning of that song was "Hola, bonjour, ni hao," and I didn't know "ni hao." So see, right. it's easy. It's so easy to learn just one word. But how many different languages do you teach? We teach Spanish, French, uh, Chinese, Arabic, and Italian. And what's your number one? What, what does everybody really like? Spanish is the most popular mm -hmm. language. So. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, with the demographics in this country, right. um, you know, it makes sense. It's a great one to learn. Um, French, we have a lot of uh, interest in French. Mm -hmm. And um, and then you know, Chinese is, is one of those two where it's sort of kind of the hot language, right. you know, because of the importance that China has on the world mm -hmm. stage. Right. Well, I want to learn good. Chinese. I tried learning a little bit of Korean when I was uh, a few years ago. Right. Could you imagine yeah. if Avon came to Jabberoo and he'd be along and all the little children? Well, are there any plans to be fun. I am, well, I, am, I am a child. Some people would say I am a child right now. So, <laughs> Are there any plans to expand into adult learning, or is there you going to stick with the kids? We, you know, the reason why we, we only stick with kids is there are a lot of programs for adults already. Sure. Um, and adults learn differently. Unfortunately, sure. you know, um, adults don't learn the same way that kids do, and so, so much you kind of have to learn yeah. through. You have to memorize the grammar and the vocabulary and all mm -hmm. that. And yeah, and so, so we would teach a whole different way. We would train our teachers differently. The, the skill set of a teacher would be different than the skill sets that we look for. There'd be no singing, no jabbering <laughs> song. Uh, yeah, it wouldn't be nearly as much fun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Well, yeah. well. Thank you, merci, gracias, and shusha, and thank you for joining us here on The District Dish.